Welcome back. This is Building Modern APIs with RESTful, as you know, and I'm Matteo. And uh, before we move on to token-based authentication, I want to um, show you how you can get your, your cookie using bas basic authentication. So we said that we can get the cookie by logging in into Drupal, but what if the Drupal backend is not available to any user uh, but I don't know you may uh, want to put this under a VPN that only uh, your editors can access or whatever because you're not interested on any end user uh, to see your Drupal your Drupal site so how would they get the cookie that they need in order to authenticate with with cookies so uh, one workaround for this is using the login endpoint or the login resource so i'm showing here how oops sorry uh, when you're making a request to the bands endpoint you can see the cookies that are coming back from drupal and this is just using the authentication types that we had in the last video so i'm going to set this back to true um, sorry this is not the place Ugh. all right okay <laughs> sorry about that this is not the place i want to to change uh, this is the place i want to change so basically uh, there is a resource that's called login cookie that is going to be used to uh, give you the cookie that you need this is the cookie that you need okay this is what I need now um, again sorry about that uh, so yeah uh, the the login cookie endpoint is gonna give us the cookie that can be used to authenticate your requests with the cookie provider when you are not logged in and you don't have the browser access to the to the Drupal backend so uh, if you check the login cookie you see that you can use the basic auth authentication method to get back your your cookie so let's go and try that so here i'm going to check body uh, again i'm going to send this i don't know if i clear my caches i did not so let me go here and clear my caches because i made a change in the annotation and i want to make sure that everything that i get is the latest state of the code so if i uh, send since I am not authentication via cookie or via the uh, authentication header, uh, I get an access denied. So I'm going to set this to basic as we explained in the past video and then this string that's a uh, representation of my username and password in almost plain text so if I do this I get authorization via basic auth uh, but that is not what I want I want to get the session cookie that I get by authorizing my request so if I check to here the cookies that get back to the response I see that there is no session cookie in here so this is because I'm not requesting the the cookie and just author authorizing my request to the bands resource so in order to request the cookie to be sent back i'm gonna go ahead and hit this special resource called login with my basic auth and this is going to give me back the the cookie that i need so if i hit send you see that in here we get the cookie the name and the value so um, you can see that uh, when when you need to authenticate your requests with cookie 
and you don't have a cookie, you can use your username and password to request the cookie in the login endpoint. And that's, that's all that it takes. Uh, with that cookie, the value, the name and value of that cookie, then you can uh, authenticate your requests in, or in other endpoints that require cookie authentication. That's it. Um, let's see you in token-based authentication.